That's you sleeping in the middle of the day. You felt super sluggish after being so sleep deprived. So you just decided to take a nap. Maybe you started dreaming about a fight scene. Fight! Or dreaming about the love of your life. <laughs> but somehow you just know you're in a dream. So you just decided, eh, I'ma wake up now. I can't move! You're paralyzed and can't seem to move your body. You also can't open your eyes. You start to panic and you're probably thinking, I'm gonna die. But your will to live is too strong. You try your hardest to move your limbs and you're finally up. What in the world was that? You've just experienced sleep paralysis or demon sleep. Sleep paralysis is being conscious but your body isn't able to move. It occurs when a person passes between stages of wakefulness and sleep. During these stages, you might even feel pressure or a sense of choking. This could last up to a few seconds or a few minutes. Many believe that this is a sign that a spirit or a demon is trying to attack you. In medieval Europe, it was often associated with demonic attacks, leading to beliefs in creatures like the night hag. In Japan, there's a phenomenon known as kanashibari, involving a spirit sitting on a sleeper's chest. But scientifically, you could just view it as a medical condition. So what really causes sleep paralysis? Sleep deprivation. Lack of sleep or irregular sleep patterns can increase the likelihood of sleep paralysis. Consistent and quality sleep is essential for overall sleep health. Disrupted sleep schedule. Irregular sleep routines such as frequent changes in sleep patterns or working night shifts dramatically increases its occurrence. Stress and anxiety. This could be one of the most common causes. Managing stress through relaxation techniques or mindfulness may help reduce its occurrence. Sleep position. Sleeping on your back is associated with higher incidence of sleep paralysis. Changing sleep positions might just help. Substance use. Studies suggest that usage of alcohol and certain medication leads to an increased risk of sleep paralysis. Now we understand what causes it. But how do we wake up from sleep paralysis? It's important to stay calm. Remind yourself that it's only temporary and usually harmless. Panicking will only intensify the experience. Concentrate on your breathing. Relax, take it slow and take deep breaths as this sends signals to your brain to transition out of sleep paralysis. Okay, now that you're calm, start by trying to wiggle your finger or your toes. Gradually attempt to move larger muscle groups. Fail? Breathe and try again. Remember to relax. If your eyes are open, close them. This helps you focus more. If you just can't, trust me, you could also just go back to sleep. As scary as it sounds, it's really harmless. Trying to relax and accept the experience rather than resisting it might make it easier to return to a more regular sleep state. Congratulations, you've woken up and hopefully you won't take your sleeping schedule for granted. If problems like this still persist, it's probably time for you to visit a healthcare professional. We hope you'll have a good night's sleep.